Welcome to DVCom Technology. In this lab, we are going to see how to configure site-to-site -site VPN, which is a dynamic VPN, guys. Yeah, because in previous, I have shown to you how to configure version one, IPsec version one, and in this video, I'm going to show it to you how to configure through IPsec version two. Okay, guys. So the dynamic VPN is nothing but it's very simple, guys. Make sure that one of your site it has a static public IP or Let's write it for you. It has a static public IP or it has a DRE DDNS, guys, which is enabled there. In other side, you have a DHCP. So you got the public IP through your PPPoE connection or through DHCP from your service provider. So make sure that you don't have a proper public IP, which means you don't have a static public IP. So the dynamic public IP is going to change at any time. So that's a drawback here. So if you are trying to use the dynamic public IP and if you establish the VPN, in case if that public IP get changed, then automatically the tunnel will become down, guys. Yeah, that's why in Raytech, we have a peer ID concept is there. That's what we are going to establish the VPN through peer ID. But make sure that one of the site, you must have either static public IP or trade DNS. By the way, the trade DNS is free for you guys. You don't need to pay anything. Yeah, it's going to map to your public IP. So instead of that public IP, you can use trade DNS. In case if your customer having a dynamic public IP, you just enable the trade DNS. That's it. Yeah. So now let's go and see it here. And this video, I'm going to show it to you in version two. Yeah. So first thing is that let's go and access the HQ Dretech 3910 router. Just open the browser and this is that and admin and admin. That's the username and password. Once you log in, say OK. Then after that, make it auto logout is off. Then after that, go to the VPN and remote access then click on LAN to LAN. So here, this is what a previous like configured, just I want to disconnect this, say okay. Now I want to configure four. So I'm going to enable this profile guys. So I'm going to specify the name to 2962, this is, uh, I can say DM version two. Yeah, DMV, I can say like that because I cannot tape more than this. Then after that, your WAN connection is terminated on WAN 3. Then after that, it's a dial-in. It's as a VPN server, guys. Then after that, go to the dial-in settings. Just uncheck the remaining IPsec tunnel, either IKE version 1 or version 2. So here the problem is they don't have a static public IP or they didn't configure the Dreddy DNS in the remote location. So that's why I'm going to configure it here, some different name. So which is branch 2962, I'm going to use the same guys. Yeah, you can give any name, that's not a problem. I can do one thing, I can give you Seishu at uh, datawise.com, no problem, you can do that. Then after that, click on IKE appreciate key, then you can specify the, the password, okay, which is appreciate key guys. Make sure that this appreciate key has to be matched in both sides. Then after that, say OK now. Just go down this. If you see here, that ESP either you can use either test, triple test, or AES, it doesn't matter. Now after this, I just want to give you the 200.1. And there is one more network, which is 30.1, guys. Yeah. Specify there 192.168.30.1, which is slash 24. Say add. Then after that, click OK now. Then say close. Then go up, then click OK now. So wait for a few seconds, guys, because I'm trying to access to the public IP. That's why it's taking bit time. Yeah, say OK again. There you go. Now after this, say OK. Now let's go to my 2962, which is acting in the branch. So let's specify the username is admin and password is admin. Say login. Say 
say okay because why i'm getting this warning all the time because i am using the default username and password guys so in case if you don't change the default password always you are going to get this warning just ignore it because i am doing at the lab but in the real time make sure that you should give you the strong password guys then make it off then after that go to the vpn and remote access click on lan to lan then after that disable this guy and after that say okay simply then click on number four so now what i'm going to do now guys let's see here enable this profile so i'm going to say two three nine one five dmv yeah then after that it's going to act as a client so i'm going to select as a dial out always on then after that play with the dial out settings guys then go to dial out settings and select ipsec tunnel then select here ike version 2 then after that you have a server ip which is 195.229.219.5 and specify the pre-shared key it should be matched in both sides then I specify there yeah just specify here close this guy and specify it Then after that say okay now then click on the advanced so here as i told you there guys for ike version 2 you no need to do anything guys okay you no need to select either main mode or aggressive mode only you need to focus it on uh, phase 2 proposal yeah so now what i'm going to do i'm going to give the local id as seshu at datavoice.com yeah then after that say okay now then after that go down go down then here it's asking what's the ip it's a 100.1 then after that click more then you need to specify 192.168.20.1 then after that which is in the head office side guys yeah we are in the branch now so in the head office there is two networks are there yeah it's already defined there 120 then after that say okay Keep, uh, remember this guys don't get confused while you are doing this VPN configurations say close say okay nothing to worry say okay there you go say okay again then after that go to the connection management say dial now just wait for try to send some traffic guys from here so to send the traffic go to the diagnosis then click on the ping diagnosis then i just want to specify 192.168.20.1 say run say okay If the tunnel is up then you can able to see the packet guys yeah see the tunnel is not up what's the reason let's go and troubleshoot it now go to the vpn and remote access click on lan to lan and verify it again the parameters which you define is properly right or wrong so now let's see here the dial out this is perfectly all right click on advanced so i have given c issue at datawise.com that's perfectly all right okay guys see here by default these settings are disabled you don't need to do anything yeah so let's do one thing go down and here the 100 and make sure that you should give 20 that's clear yeah let's go back here guys and let's try to check here what you where it went wrong so this is dial in that is dial out yeah see guys what how i am troubleshooting this it's very important to understand yeah so now it's so dial in and you need to do anything so let's play with the dial in settings Appreciate key is match and this says your data voice.com and so far it's fine 230 that's good
here still the tunnel is not up so nothing to worry just go to the diagnosis then after that you just go here and check there is a syslog explorer guys so enable this one and after that see here the vpn traffic so refresh it yeah see here it's saying that without default dial-in pre-shared key dial-in function is disabled for dynamic ip client okay request which is came okay refresh that so without default dial-in pre-shared key dial-in function is disabled okay the problem is this is not able to initiate guys yeah so that's the problem so that's why it's not able to so basically this one is going to works with only version 1 so let's go and do that yeah so what I'm going to do now let's click on land to land and I'm in the branch okay guys so just go to that VPN tunnel so this is dial out that's good then after that click on the advanced and make it here we need to make it as a version one only yeah then click on advanced so here you can i'm sorry guys once you change the settings guys whenever you make it ike version one keep remember that make it okay first yeah don't get confused then after that go back again that's one more thing you need to understand guys because i need to show it to you that's why i just want to show it to you all these things say okay now say okay now now the tunnel is going to comes back guys nothing to worry see see did you see guys everybody nothing to worry guys there is i i have done nothing yeah the tunnel is going to comes back that's it that's what i'm trying to say see the tunnel is up so this is what how it's going to work so make sure that now you can just say refresh yeah see it's established so whenever you are trying to do ikeu version 2 the dynamic ip doesn't work that's a problem why because you need to select as a aggressive mode aggressive mode or main mode it does not available there that's the reason guys yeah so anyway this is a good experience for you to understand this more and more about the vpn yeah now do i forgot to show it to you the tunnel guys just to open this admin and admin so now you can able to see the the tunnel status now so to check the tunnel status go to vpn and remote access click on connection management now you can see the tunnel yeah and in the branch you can see the tunnel as well so this is what how you are going to establish the dynamic ipsec vpn it doesn't work in version 2 it works in version 1 only guys yeah this is actually i want to show it to you that's why i have built this lab so that everybody will get a complete idea on this anyway thank you for watching for sales please send us an email sales at datawise.com see you in the next video